changing springs in the forks and the shocks, is it really necessary? That's a good question and one that can be answered very quickly and simply at the most basic of levels. If you have measured sag and checked how much the bike sags under your weight and the number is enormous, 45 to 50 millimeters, or incredibly small, 5 to 12 millimeters, there's an immediate red flag there that tells you, I need to consider this. However, you do have the option of changing the amount of tension on the spring. So if that is the case, all the preload can be removed from the fork and the shock and sag can be remeasured. If the parameters are about the same or have changed by only five or six millimeters in that it is still way too stiff, now you have really good data that says to you, change the springs. In this case, when it's too hard, what's the risk? Well, anybody can ride a bike in a straight line no matter what the condition it's in. But when you start introducing lean and speed, you start introducing deflection. Catch the full podcast at DaveMossTuning.com.